Hey folks, it's Sonny here from Compass Life. It's that time of year again. Time to winterize uh, campers, winterize basements, and try to catch catch mice. I have a, a trap here that works pretty darn well. I've got another version of it at uh, at our camper, uh, at our campground. But this here is basically just two cans of similar size, one shoved inside the other. And as you can see, I put a little bit of duct tape in there to uh, take up the difference and make sure it fits snugly. And then what I did was I put a couple of uh, washers on each end uh, and some tape to hold the washer in place. Try to drill the holes out as close to center as possible. And uh, this this piece of uh, steel rod that I got here actually came from like a political sign, believe it or not. Uh, there's uh, They're strong enough uh, and they're straight enough that it makes a makes a pretty good uh, uh, pivot for something like this. But really what you do is you, you coat the center of this with peanut butter. And you, as you can see, it, it rolls pretty well. It hasn't been oiled or anything, it just rolls pretty well. And then you put a, uh, a ramp up to it, some kind of piece of scrap wood, something that the mice can get up to. And you put it fairly close so that the mice can step from the ramp down onto the wheel and as they're trying to get the peanut butter, they lose their balance and fall down into the, the bucket of, uh, well, let's just say it doesn't go well for them. You could fill this about a quarter full of water or uh, in an area where it might freeze, you can put uh, RV antifreeze in it. Probably about a, a gallon to two gallons would, would be enough to uh, dispatch the mice. And then you can take care of them later. I know last year in our camper, we ended up with, I think, nine mice that had fallen in in there. So it's a great way to do it. You don't have to worry about resetting it and uh, it, it's pretty effective. Thanks a lot, folks.